Hello, fellow voice stars. It is your friend and mentor, Bailey Varnas here, also known as the vocal supermodel. So today's video is part 11 in our Perfect American Accent series, and we're going to learn all about glides. Yes, we are finishing off all of the consonants, and you are going to be a consonant master. <laughs> now, before we get started, as always, I want to make sure that you've already watched the introduction video for this series that I'll have linked below in the description. Because in it, there's an assignment for you to do so that you have a good recording of your natural sound before you learn this material, and then you'll record your new sound after you finish this course. So be sure to watch and record your before so that you can see your growth once you're done. And if you've already watched and recorded yourself, then let's get started. So today, as I said, we are going to work on the last of the consonants known as glides. So there are three glides, and they are w, w, and y. So the first two are a pair. So let's start there. And they are the glides w and w. So w is the voiceless version of the consonant where it's just the sound of air coming through. And w is the voiced version of the consonant, where you add the sound of your voice behind it. And I want to mention that w is kind of a controversial consonant in, that, in the general American accent. It's considered correct for American standard, but often not used casually in the general American accent. So w is used when a word starts with WH instead of just a W. And I say it's controversial because most people now think it sounds really funny and overdone. Almost everyone with an American accent just uses the voiced W sound for any word that starts with the letter W, whether it has an H following it or not. In fact, it's a running gag on Family Guy that Stewie uses the W sound when he says a word that starts with WH, and Brian's always calling him out on it for it sounding antiquated. <laughs> but it is a sound that you will hear sometimes and need to identify. So it's up to you if you want to go full American standard or not in your own life. But we are going to learn it so that you can identify it and speak it if you need to. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of both W and W is... A relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue rests behind your lower front teeth, you round your lips and arch the back of your tongue as if you're making the oo sound, and then you relax your lips as you send out your breath or voice to make the consonant sound. So that's the proper placement for both w and w. Now, let's try going back and forth between them from voiceless to voiced a few times. W. W, w, w. So now, let's say a few words containing w and w for practice. So, repeat after me. Where, 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 which, which. Which, 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 whale, 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 whether, whether. Weather, 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 weather. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the differences between the w and w sounds are really working for you. The white wildflower by the whimsical waterfall. The white wildflower by the whimsical waterfall. Whichever way the waiter came with the wheat. Whichever way the waiter came with the wheat.
Wizards wave wands while walking. Wizards wave wands while walking. A quiet queen whirled and twirled. A quiet queen whirled and twirled. So those are a few ways the wh and wu sounds can present themselves. So listen for them in words that you hear, hear the different ways that they come up, and practice with more words in your Perfect American Accent workbook. But for now, we are going to move on to the last glide, y. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of y is a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue rests behind your lower front teeth, the front of your tongue arches toward your hard palate as if you're making the E sound, and you quickly pull your tongue away from your hard palate as you voice the consonant sound. So that's the proper placement for the consonant Y. Now, let's just try saying it a few times. Y. 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 So now, let's say a few words containing Y for practice. So repeat after me. Yes, 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 yak, 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 young, 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 unit, 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 Kenya. Kenya, Kenya. Vineyard, vineyard, vineyard. Million, million, million. Opinion, opinion, opinion. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the y sound is really working for you. A young yogi. A young yogi. He was yelling while you yawned. He was yelling while you yawned. The barnyard was yellow. The barnyard was yellow. A battalion caused a rebellion. A battalion caused a rebellion. So those are a few ways the y sound can present itself. So listen for the y sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up or doesn't come up. So those are the glides. So it can be a really helpful exercise to say them in order so that you can physically feel the differences in your mouth. So in order, they should sound like this. So that's a great way to practice your glides and make sure that you're feeling and experiencing the subtle differences in your mouth. Now, you should be very excited because you have officially learned every sound that occurs in the general American and American standard accents. So you now have the tools to both speak and identify every vowel and consonant sound that occurs in almost every accent that you hear. So in the next video, we are going to go over the official American standard way to read that before paragraph that you recorded. Yes! <laughs> and once you feel good with your glides that we learned today, go ahead and make your after recording. And you can finish practicing by using your Perfect American Accent Workbook. If you still don't have the workbook yet, there's a link to it in the description area. I'll send it right to you, and you can get to perfecting all of your vowels and consonants. So 
keep practicing, make your fabulous after recording, and I'll see you in the next one.